Just a beautiful morning today. Sun's just coming up, golden hour shot. Just a little uh, practice flight over the mountain here and uh, trying to just concentrate on uh, really smooth uh, stick movements, trying to keep everything uh, smooth and flowing and not too jerky. It's kind of hard to do. But this big drone here, this Moz 7, it's, uh, it's big and it's heavy and it, uh, it really handles well. I think it's a lot smoother than the uh, DJI FPV drone. So uh, that's the goal this morning. So this big drone, it really handles well. But uh, the difficult thing is when you're trying to land this big thing, um, because of the angle of the camera and everything, it's really hard to tell how close you are to the ground. And it's just so big and heavy that uh, there's the risk of doing some serious damage to this uh, compared to a smaller drone that's uh, probably just going to bounce off the ground. So I've uh, really been trying to do a lot of practice of low flight uh, in uh, angle mode when I get ready to land and uh, then removing the goggles and just uh, flying it around me a lot, trying to apply a line of sight and to get the feel of uh, all the different directions with the goggles off so that uh, it becomes second nature. So what I try to do for landing is uh, when I'm coming in on my final approach, I just try to bring it directly toward me and maybe a couple of hundred feet out or less, switch it into angle mode. And then uh, when it gets, uh, oh, maybe a hundred feet or so away, just take off the goggles and fly at line of sight and that's been working pretty good. Once I get it within about 50 feet of me, it's pretty easy just to uh, fly at line of sight and uh, just to fly it around and uh, control it really well. Uh, I was practicing landing on a uh, floor mat or uh, outside door mat actually, and uh, that was working out pretty good. Uh, it's pretty easy to do, get it within about a, a two by three foot area, not a problem when you're uh, doing it visually. But even better is to just go ahead and hand catch it. So uh, that's what I'm doing on uh, more, more recent flights. So what I try to do is just uh, get it within five or 10 feet of me and just hover it and then adjust the throttle so it's just sitting about maybe five to seven feet above the ground. And then uh, when I get it like that, I just walk over to it with my hands completely off the sticks and my finger on the kill button put my hand about uh, oh, a foot underneath it and then just hit the kill button and it just drops right into my hand. It's actually not too hard to do. It is a little dangerous, but uh, you know, once you get the feel of it, I think it's probably the way to go. And There's no damage to the drone at all by landing it like that, so that's pretty good.
switch into angle mode right about here. And I'm standing up with the goggles off, kind of hard to see myself with the sun uh, glaring into the lens like that. And just flying visually directly toward myself. And just bringing it straight toward me in angle mode. I've got my uh, goggles off at this point. Just bringing it in really slow. Um, with practice, this will get a little bit quicker. But right now, it's taking me almost a minute to get this thing down on the ground safely. So I've got it over here and uh, just bringing it around. Now I'm going to try and hover it right around here and uh, just put my hand under it, hit the kill button, and let it drop into my hand. <laughs> 